Hey everyone, it's No Shortcut Gaming here, back with another video. Um, we have gone through all of our Nintendo Switch games, um, as besides maybe the ones that have recently came in. <clears throat> um, we've gone through the alphabet of all of that, so now we want to talk a little bit about why we decided to collect for the Switch, what um, motivated us for that specific console, and just to talk about some of the handhelds that we have and um, more of the memory and the love of the handheld consoles. Because yeah. of what brought us from where we were to where we are now, why are we collecting for the Switch? Me personally, um, where it started was the original Game Boy, and my this is my sister's original one. It was a hand me down from them to me, and I just loved it. Just had Super Mario Brothers, had uh, Wario Land. It I played Wario Land a lot on this thing, and. Uh, I just, I just loved it. I, we, Pokemon, uh, but see, with me, is, uh, I didn't have any friends, so I had to get another Game Boy, and so I would trade Pokemons with myself, which was fine, <laughs> but then I think my first game, my first console was my Game Gear, and, um, this isn't my original one. So what happened was that was this was my first handheld that was mine. My mom bought it for me. I like Sega. My first console was the Sega Genesis. And um, she got me this. Well, as everybody knows, is that the Game Gear sucks batteries. It, it When I first got it, I went through eight batteries in the first day. And my mom said, no. No, I'm not. I'm not keeping this. Is there anything you want to say about your? Experience I with it? I don't remember a whole lot. I know that I got a Game Gear from my grandparents, um, and I maybe got one game. I I don't even remember. Um, I just remember it being a Game Gear, and I didn't have any other handhelds growing up. This was the only one. I don't even know what happened with it. I don't know if it. I have no idea what happened to it. I don't even think I played it that often because I was so young when they got it for me. I was maybe like seven, seven mm. or eight, I guess. I don't know when it came out, but I feel like I was super young um, to to be playing it. So, yeah, I don't remember any game I played on it at all. No, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I had Sonic on mine was the first game. And so then my mom took this away, went and returned it that next day. So I had it for one day. Eight batteries. My mom went and returned it. So then take that one down. And then we had, and then the blue one is the one I got. Was the Game Boy Pocket. Now this one was my Game Boy, which is the Game Boy I used to trade with my sister's one. With Pokemon. I got... I think I bought, I think I got Pokemon Blue with this one. And I played it, played it. And uh, and then when the Pokemon Color came out was when um, the next generation of Pokemon came out. Was when I got that. And uh, so my parents wouldn't buy me console games and they wouldn't buy me consoles as much as they would with the Game Boys because my parents are very into um, things that function, have a mul multiple functionality, especially with the Game Boy. The Game Boy was different. You know, you could play the Game Boy. You can play the Game Boy Color. You know, Game Boy games were super cheap at the time. You know, you're looking at 30 to $40 versus 50 to $60 for a console game. So it was a money situation and I could take this on road trips. Kept me quiet for hours. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. So I, that's why I got kind of, I got more into handhelds than I did anything else. So then now at this point, the Game Boy Advance showed up. Now this is my first handheld that I personally bought myself. 
I remember I was working at McDonald's at the time. And Pokemon uh, Super Red or Pokemon Violet Red came out. Ember Red. And you remember uh, Dave, he had that and mm -hmm. was playing it at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I was like, oh man, I, I want to get a Game Boy Advance. And I took that everywhere. That, that, was, that was a pretty fun console. And then the PSP came out, which we got in Alaska. Yep. Which was the Star Wars Collector's Edition. Came with the Star Wars Battlefield and yep. had Darth Vader in the back. Um, and the only reason why I bought it, I wasn't really thinking about buying a PSP. But the only reason why I bought it was because your mom said that they didn't have sales tax yep. up there in Alaska. And I was like, oh, no sales tax. Heck yeah. Well, and wasn't it uh, one of those stupid stacker games? The PSP was a prize. Yeah, we and were And we were getting playing. so close. And I feel like... If I remember right, as we were playing it, we had we were getting so close and we just couldn't hit. You're like, oh, screw it. I'm just going to go buy one. Yeah. yeah I'm not right going to waste my money on a game anymore to buy a game. <laughs> yeah, because it was right at the... We kept getting to the end. Yep. And the yep. last dot, I could not get it lined up. Yep. I don't know how much money we spent oh, on know. that. It was ridiculous. But I do remember, yeah, at that point, then you're like, oh, screw it. We're just going to go buy it. <laughs> Yeah. Just going to go buy it because we're just wasting our money, even though it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And so. I got quite a few games. I think I got more games from buying more PSPs just by, you know, buying a bundle of them than I did actually having the console itself. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then we got your DS that we bought. Yeah. And this was what? So I guess this was essentially your this first This is my first console. handheld. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess I have owned a handheld, technically, because I got this one. Yeah, I think I bought that in Alaska as well. Um, I think so, because I think we ended up... Yeah, because we got that in, in the, the like, Nerf rubber Protection thing, thing. protectors oh, that's right. yeah. that went on it. And I know one of the... One of the only reasons why I wanted the DS was because of the Mario game. I think it was Mario Party that had the mini games, and you had to find Luigi... That and wasn't it uh, cake cook or oh cook, cupcake cook? Yeah, you yeah. love the heck out of that, that game. That was a lot of fun too. You played that and you beat it, and then you're all like, "Oh, is this it?" Yeah, I don't think it had an ending. I don't think so either. I think you just, I think kept, just kept going. Yeah. But yeah, that one was a lot of fun. But yeah, that that Luigi one was like one of my f the whole reason why I wanted a DS. But yeah, so then the DS was a lot of fun. Actually, yeah. I do like the DS. I think I played a lot of games on it that I enjoyed because they were kind I mean, they weren't really, I, I guess I really wasn't into strategy games at the time. It was more or less making cakes at a time crunch, finding yeah, was, Luigi during a time crunch. Yeah, it was <laughs> definitely aimed at the casual gamers versus the hardcore gamers yeah. in my personal opinion. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. And then I got myself a 3DS when that came out. Yep. Which is the one that I bought myself. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I did not take care of that box very well. No. It's a $250. Good old Hastings sticker. Yeah, that was the first, that first one that yeah. came out. Or that game, that's not GameStop. No. Yep. And that one, I remember trying it out with the 3d and i was like oh i can't do the 3d yeah it I, looked awful i didn't use it <laughs> yeah it was it I, was the crazy. only reason why i bought it was because ocarina of time which was coming out on it yeah and i was like oh that would be the thing to play while i'm going to the bathroom <laughs> yeah i mean essentially that's where it was yeah but yeah the 3d on it was terrible but oh, i so mean bad. it was still nice i want isn't it bigger than the regular ds or is it the same size? I think it's the same size. Mm -hmm. They did come with an XL, which then is what I upgraded. Oh, that's upstairs. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't. I upgraded to that one, which is way bigger for adult hands and adult eyes yeah. than this 
small one. Because I, I, when I hold it, I dwarf it. It's it's ridiculously small in my hands. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's laughable. But then the Vita came out. Was was uh, I I wasn't gonna get it. I I was not gonna buy this one because of the. The SD cards were only Sony. That's all I wasn't... That's another expensive... There wasn't any games that I was, like, super excited with. I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. But, uh... And then I watched one of the YouTubers. They did the best hits. And I was like, okay, okay. Maybe I might dive into it. And I wish I would have... I wish I would have bought it at launch. Because this is what comp, this is what handheld should have been, and I know that they couldn't have been at the beginning. But as a kid, you're like, oh man, I, why doesn't my you know Super Mario Brothers look different than my Super Mario Brothers on the Super Nintendo? You know, I never, I never understood why they couldn't do it. Because I was a kid. Now, as an adult, I can... I understand why. But the PlayStation Vita... You, you get full games. Like, full console games on the PlayStation Vita. And it is... It's amazing. I, I didn't like the, the backwards touchpad thing. But if you really play it and really get into it... Yeah, that backwards touchpad thing is... It actually works very well. And then, yeah... And after that, I the Switch came out. And that's where we... Which was, of course, we had the Switch Lite as well, but... Yeah. Which was the hybrid of a handheld. You can take everywhere. And just... Yeah, it's what we decided to do. Yeah. I, I think we kicked a couple ideas. I, I know I've always wanted a uh, full collection of something, but think we kicked a couple ideas around i thought maybe we could go for a full vita collection yeah when we were collecting before the switch came out i think i think i did throw that out there or a uh, full collection of the original xbox yeah that was another one it but i think that it came it came down to of course we didn't even imagine the switch would explode this much no um for this long but i think what it came down to was that knowing Knowing that those game consoles had already been out for years, mm -hmm. there was already, you know, games out there that were going to be hard to find if you could even find them. Now, there are a lot of people that have gotten them and have found them. You know, their lifestyles are a little different than ours. Maybe they don't have kids. Maybe they do. Maybe they have more money. Maybe they live in areas that it's easier and accessible. The Their lifestyles are just different. So I think when we really sat down and talked about it and decided what we were going to do it was well how can we miss a game if we buy them brand new every time they come out we're not going to be searching for games now now as we've we're six six years in six or seven six it? it's over six years yeah in and you know things have Maybe we don't have every single game for the Nintendo Switch right now for every country. You know, it's not that we were going to go for every single country anyways, but, you know, we really went hard on it for the first four to five years. Four and a half years. Yeah. And it just uh, got to be extremely overwhelming, and, and now we're continuing what we're doing. But in our mind, I think that we didn't know there was going to be this many games. <laughs> No, because if you look at... Otherwise, we would have probably done the Vita. <laughs> yeah, because if you look at the lifespan of any consoles, it's like 800, 900. I think PlayStation, on its biggest day, was like 1,500. Yeah. And that's the first PlayStation. Not four or 5,000 plus now. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we, which we still need to do a head count. But yeah. we are past at least 3,000 games. Yeah. Yep. And that's not Easily. worldwide. It's... It's U.S. It's U.S. and then some special, of the specialty games. Yeah, special games, limited run. But I think that that was, again, in hindsight, thinking it, you know, would I do it all again? Maybe. But um, it's a collection that I think I'm proud of. 
I I am happy with the sea of red. I think that I think that in my mind, seven years ago when we first talked about it. I thought, oh, it's going to be easier to collect for the Switch than it would any other game. Now, I don't think that's true. I think it would have been easier and less money to collect for a different console, even if it was older games, and we'd have to pay more for those older games. But to a point. it's still... There are some games that they, are like thousands of dollars. But now, it's like those older games, as we've played a lot of them since we've moved and been going through our collection in our game room... Now, it's like the older games aren't really that much fun to play. Some of them are, some of them aren't. But when you when you look at a lot of the Switch games, of course, there's going to be garbage games that aren't that fun to play either of the Switch. But I feel like they're more modern. They're easier to look at. They're easier to play with. You know, they're now. So we have and can get all the accessories to play with the, the games if we want to. The older consoles, we can't. So... It makes more sense to have these to actually use the collection as we intend to do. We don't have a collection just to collect. We play and use what we want to. We're more apt to play with these games and enjoy them. I feel like me personally more than some of the older games. I said what I said. Yeah, I, I don't I don't agree with that. <laughs> I'd rather play the old games just because internet connection. And maybe my eyes are a little bit more fixed on the older games just because i i played it when i was in my youth i don't when i look at a playstation game or an xbox original xbox game i don't see old graphics i me personally i can see new graphics but i don't really see old graphics either. yeah i can see exactly what they are as and the how time, they were yeah and how they were as the time yeah. i was playing them yeah. Like, if we were just playing... That's Gaunt, true. We were just playing... Well, we were playing uh, Nightclub. Midnight on the, Club. Midnight yeah. Club on the original Xbox. And you're like, I don't know what any of this is. Can't yeah. see it. Well, it's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's buildings. Yeah. <laughs> Cars, vehicles. But anyways. But, yeah, we just wanted to show you what we were going through and what our ideas were of, you know, why we decided to do this. I know we had a couple comments on that. And... um now, since we are kind of done with our collection of the alphabets and whatnot, so what we're going to be planning on is still pickups once a month at the end of the month. And we are going to start going through the rest of our collection. Just because uh, it's about time to go through something else. I know you guys have been watching us. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, we will continue to bring more video game content um, on other things other than the Switch as well. So thanks again.